in town, and he's brought his minions with him. This day was foretold and revealed. Over the years, I've developed a theory based on the concept of nigger. What a nigger is. What makes a nigger. And most important, how to stop being a nigger. Who told that nigger to quit honking that horn? No, fuck that nigger. Make him wait. Stop honking that horn, crazy motherfucker. Running down to Grandma Gomez asking for something to eat. I won't. Eat them crackers I left in there. I'm coming! I find out your little troublemaking butt left this house tonight. I'll let him take you this time. Swear to God, I will. I never saw myself as underprivileged. South Street, Philadelphia was full of life. In a night, I couldn't resist. The color, the music, the people. Cynthia. The Queen's gratitude if you help us. Just tell me how I may serve you, said d d Carl, what's the matter with you? Don't you understand English? In the corner. Now. Something to say for yourself? I was just trying to help. I'd say you have enough of your own problems, wouldn't you? What's this yellow you put in the flag? We ran out of white paint. You realize how dumb that is? You don't put yellow in the American flag. Yellow's the color of cowards. Stop that. You go home now. You keep your mouth shut unless I ask you to open it. Is that clear? My thesis on niggers is based on my own life and unfortunately the lives of far too many people. In my terms, niggers are made, not born. I believe a baby shows up to Bula Rasa, clean slate. Sometimes the immediate conditions can be so bad you'd say they were born niggers, but I believe the process takes place after they've been infected by their surroundings and circumstances. I don't think deep down I've ever equated all black people with niggers. Met a whole bunch of white niggas in my days, as a matter of fact. When people grow up steeped in violence, ignorance, neglect, and oppression, you have conditions for niggerhood, niggerization. Good job, boy. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, it's an ugly word. I know it. I'm talking about some ugly shit. And I'm all about getting unniggerized. I'm 
motherfucking ass? Who motherfucking ass? Huh? Nigga, who ass you gonna whip? Huh, motherfucker? Huh? Hey, Jack, you gonna whip my ass? Huh? Whip who motherfucking ass? Stay the fuck down. Stay down, motherfucker, nigga. Stay down, motherfucker. I ought to cut that motherfucker. <laughs> well, I be God damn. Come here, boy. Bring your little ass over here. <laughs> hey, this is my boy. I got girls all over this motherfucking city, but it's my only boy. <laughs> you a good looking little motherfucker, too, ain't you? Call up, church. Hey, nigga, smart, too. What'd that say? South Street Liquor. South Street Liquor. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. Motherfucker, stay down, nigga! What do you do? What do you do? Motherfucker piss me off. Look, boy, don't let a nigga get up on you. See, don't let a nigga get up on you. Keep, it, keep, his, keep his ass off you. You know, beat that motherfucker down before he beats you down. You understand? You can't be weak. You hear me? You can't be weak. And good to see you a little later. Come on, let's go back in there. Very sorry, Mrs. Fisher. Ma'am, we need you to come downtown with us to identify the body. Please. <laughs> 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 I'm... Fuck it. No one gets No it. fish? Oh, you must be crazy. Are you nuts? Sorry, Mrs. Fisher. Gotta find them niggas who killed him. I knew the nigga went down swinging, man. <laughs> hey, police telling people took you, Hammer Boys did it. You know, I think they put the word out because they want us to do niggas, you know? Save them the trouble. Ain't you going in? No. You're stupid being out there alone. You can't let a nigga get up on you like that, man. So what are we gonna do?
Almost everybody wants to be respected for something. And among men, if you kick ass, everybody knows not to fuck with you. You get plenty of respect. That shit's universal. I mean, if Bill Gates is in a dark alley about to get his ass kicked, who do you think he wants next to him? His buddy Warren Buffett or the baddest motherfucker in town? Billy, Billy, Billy. Sir. Dealing coke on my block and shit? No. Call me out my name behind my back. What, what's that he called me again? Oh, yeah, 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 dumb nigga. Dumb nigga with a prison GED. But you a fucking college graduate, Bill. You're supposed to know better. All right, we got it. Yeah. Who's a dumb nigga now, huh, Billy? I was sailing, Jack. Inside, I'd learn to be a better criminal, tougher motherfucker. Outside, I look forward to putting my new knowledge to work. And if I got caught, no problem. I was only going back to school and home. Upchurch Carl, bank robber, new arrival. No. Well, new here. Been all through the system, nothing to trouble, so fuck him. Guess they figured he might as well segregate his ass right out the bat. How long? Who gives a shit? Get his monkey ass in there. We'll see how uncontrollable you are. Stupid fucking nigger. Welcome to Lewisburg. You awake? Lose bird. Oh no. Martha's vineyard. That's pretty, ain't it? Oh, what the hell do you expect? That's about the dumbest thing I ever saw. No, oh, you done say before, ain't you? You know how I can tell? Because you look like you're about half out your fucking mind. I'm nothing personal. I mean, 23 hour lockdown. Power on the yard. One motherfucking shower a week. <laughs> a motherfucker gets stinky and goofy. <clears throat> yeah. You know how to read? Come on, shut the fuck up, white boy. Hey, hey. Woo! Woo! Nigga, I can talk. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's some shit. I was just being neighborly, chilling. Letting you know the deal down here. Shut the fuck up. You see, he on segregation. We get first crack at the library books. Only most motherfuckers in SEG, they don't know how to read them. Well, they're comic books or uh, magazines with girly pictures in them. The dumbest motherfuckers. Only privilege is first crack at the library books. <laughs> Ain't that some cruel funny shit? Oh, y'all gonna be a fun neighbor. Peters! Peters, what you got to stick all the dumbass and no conversation niggas next to me for? Don't you just shut your mouth, you crack a piece of shit? I'll tell you what, you don't call me a crack a piece of shit. Or a honky, or a redneck. And I won't call you a nigga. I'll tell you what, dude. 
Crack a piece of shit, honk it. Redneck, white boy, inbred motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. What? Just an inbred honk white trash motherfucker in this jail to stay. <laughs> White trash, crack a honky motherfucker, ignorant and brown. Wasting time away. There's keys in the yellow box. It's all lumpy. So I said, bitch, this had better be some blue box macaroni. Part of what you've done, why you listening up, church? Fuck the shit! Chat! 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 Wait up, man! Did you find my grievance? You talk to the warden, man! Hey, man, it's Corpus, motherfucker! Through the process, you can't throw me in segregation for no reason! Damn, Peters! Hey, Peters! Peters, you motherfucker! Is that you, Mr. Upchurch? How can I help you, sir? Get it, man! Give me some new food, man! I'm supposed to live on that shit! I take it you won't be joining us for supper tonight. Yeah. You know what else, man? Give me something new to read, goddammit. This shit is old. Sports? I told you to try the fucking comics. I think we'll hold off in the magazines a while. Anything else? Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck all of y'all! <laughs> shit, man. Being locked down in segregation, I couldn't even get into a good fight. Except with words. What the fuck is this shit? Shakespeare. Which kept the guy next to me sane, but drove me crazy. Fuck! Yeah. Fuck! Ah! Ah! Fuck! What the hell? Fuck! 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 Don't hurt yourself, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Time, you crack a motherfucker. Yard time. Oh, fuck off, Peters. It's your time. Need you to tell me what's my time, motherfucker? eyes, I all alone be, be weep my outcast state. <laughs> yeah, man, outcast. She mean, yeah, fuck all of y'all! Y'all done down here. Son of 29. 
When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state. This man's heart and that man's scope with what I most enjoy contented least. Yet in these thoughts, myself, myself almost despise. Say, man, what's a lark? I think it's a bill. A bird, motherfucker. What kind of bird is a lark? Shit. Stupid. Dictionary, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. Singing bird, ground living metal lock. Like to the lark at break of day arising from sullen earth. Like to the lark at break of day arising. Here it is, as you requested. Church, <laughs> you ashamed of something? <laughs> Wait, do y'all hear this? It seems that the the good old chaplain ain't down here trying to save up church's soul. <laughs> oh no, sir! <laughs> the two lovebirds are down here reading Shakespeare together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shakespeare here, taking it in the real, <laughs> <laughs> and up church is giving it to him. <laughs> I will kill you no matter how long it takes, Ledford. <laughs> oh, you're already killing me, up church. I'm I'm dying of laughter here, you bookworm motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, motherfucker! Shut up! Hey, Church, you read that shit for real? You fuck off, T Bone, I'll kill your big ass next. <laughs> fuck you, ass Shakespeare! I said, shut the fuck up. Straight up, man. Read it some. Hey, Shakespeare's a queer. I said, shut the fuck up. I really want to hear this. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is a poem called Sonnet 29. <laughs> when in disgrace with fortune in men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries and look upon myself and curse my fate wishing me like to one more rich in hope featured like him like him with friends possessed desiring this man's art and that man's scope with what I most enjoy contented least <laughs> Man. The party's over, up church. <laughs> Damn it, I was almost asleep. <laughs> oh. 
Yet in these thoughts, myself almost despising, happily I think on thee, and then my state. Like to the lark at break of day arising, from sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered, such wealth brings, that then, I scorn to change my state with kings. Damn, church. Hey, up church. Read that part about her titties again before I go. Say, fuck you, Lefty. A little knowledge wouldn't hurt your ignorant ass, your comic book reading corn fed redneck. Damn, church. You say the woman's a sister. How you know that? It's right there, Jerome. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. I already told you, done means brown. If hair be wires, then black wires grow on her head. Man, brown breasts and wiry hair, you tell me what color that stuff is. Sounds like brown sugar to me. You just keep on reading about them titties up, Church. You keep on dreaming about them, Jerome. Cause old Leadfoot here, he's gonna go out and find himself some real one. Knock off a piece for me. We'll see you soon, white trash. They say knowledge is power, absolutely. Man gets a hold of the right idea, it can inspire him to change his life or at least help him figure out why things are so fucked up. You looking at, fuck, buddy? Third period. At the heart of the Literature. Conflict. The more glorious the triumph. And it would be strange if so celestial an article as freedom should not be highly rated. Gather your personals. You're out of segregation. What, a year and year isn't long enough? Lucky for me, somewhere back in my childhood, I learned to like reading, in spite of all the other bullshit. When I stumbled on it this time, it saved my life. I gained power from the African-American writers of the 1920s, the Harlem Renaissance, contemporary black writers, Baldwin, Angelou, Charles Johnson, Charles Gordon. You know, check some stuff, make some bread. Be nice to say I never revisited old habits, but I did. First time in my prison life, I felt remorse. It hit me hard that I piped the man over basically nothing. He almost died. Eggs for a mafia nigga. I was acting exactly as I was expected to act. As a low down, ignorant nigga criminal. I knew I didn't want to be that anymore. So it is a conclusion of this board that pending parole, you'd be released to a halfway house facility. Congratulations, Mr. Upchurch. To which locality do you wish to report? 
Philadelphia. In my cell, I had the solitude to study and think and picture a life for myself. Back on the streets, the reality was nobody wanted to hire an ex-con with no real skills. To make matters worse, I made the same damn mistake a lot of ex-cons make. I went back to my old environment without a solid plan. Shit, man, they make you wait six months for a job training program. Hey, look, you listen to Bone now. You ain't no minimum wage, nigga. What you need is a score. Get you back on your feet. I'm ready. You ready for some hard prison time, Bo? Man, prison. Hey, look, man, I'm just trying to get out this motherfucker and live straight. Fuck up my hide. Nigga, you can't do it straight. I mean, shit. Yeah. Motherfucker, look. That's like my skinny ass fly. Look, man. This your shit right here. South Street. Are you the king? King, motherfucker. Shit, man. You talking to? Yeah, yeah. Welcome home, brother. What the fuck is this? Shit. That's right, old man. That's exactly right. Put the money in the bag, bitch. I'll blow your fucking head off. Hurry up. Hurry up, bitch. This ain't no joke. All of it. Move, 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 move. Pull over, Bo. You lose these motherfuckers. God damn it. Fuck, man. We ain't gonna make it, man. Pull over. No way. I can't do time, man. I can't do time. Oh, shit. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, shit. Uh. Motherfuckers better straighten that line. We'll talk to your brother about a proposition. Damn, call up church. I heard you got out. Yeah, let me too. Ain't this a bitch? What? Did you learn to read, Dumbo? Read? Oh hell, I'm doing college. <laughs> Shit, you job, man. Oh yeah. Well, the judge suggested I improve my prospects. Oh hell, they want no future in investing beer money in biker bars, selling coke to Knox. No. GED in the grand. Beats the hell out of a shitty job like this. <laughs> Check it out, Bubba. Shakespeare. Come on. First thing we're gonna do is lay some bread down, get that motherfucker transferred over. Then when he get here, we're gonna go ahead and snatch his whole operation. Just take it, huh? 
Oh yeah, that's where you come in. Word is, you're very convincing. You want me to dust them? <laughs> All I'm saying is, don't nobody give a shit about a dead nigga dope dealer. Plus, you can get up on him because you don't belong to nobody. <laughs> Look, man, we can control all the shit coming in here. You know what I'm talking about. Smack. Reef. I'm telling you, it's right here. It's also, uh... My boy's got your back. So what you saying, Lone Wolf? You in or what? Why couldn't God have created the Big Bang? What is this Sunday school bullshit? Supposed to be physics class? <laughs> My point is, Carl, that even scientists need to keep an open mind. Why do science and religion have to conflict? Oh, Mrs. Connemacher, I believe that you're too smart to believe in all that Virgin Mary Jesus walking on water crack. Yes, but isn't that exactly what faith is about, Carl? Belief in a truth that cannot be explained. I can explain Christianity. It's bullshit. You got yeah. your white Virgin Mary, you got your white Jesus. It's a white man's tool for making brown people slaves. Always has been. That's right. First of all, Jesus and Mary were not Caucasian, Carl. And if you think it's just a white man's religion, you know what? I'm gonna bring in some books to show you. I would be very interested in your reaction. At first glance, Martha Kanemaka seemed like so many of the teachers I had known. And I wanted to dismiss her as just another self-righteous bully with a book. But something in her eyes was different. She was there. And I was never one to back down from a challenge. Christian. I read your books. All of them? And? And, uh, I was wrong about some shit. Well, you can't be wrong about something you didn't know. You could be ignorant. Hey, hey, don't be calling me ignorant. Ignorant just means that you weren't aware. Oh, but I'm very aware of the quote-unquote white Christianity that comes from the Christianity I just learned was rooted in Africa. I'm also very aware that the, the white version was used as a tool to conquer. It's like they sent the clergy in to soften them up, then they sent the army in to beat them up. Then they let the clergy back loose on them to keep them humble and well-behaved. And that white version was used big time to keep the slaves in line. Of course, that's coming from my ignorant perspective. You make good points. I can tell we're going to have very challenging discussions. I look forward to it. See you next week. Wait, hold on. I ain't finished talking this week. Society of Friends is another name for Quakers. <laughs> You're a Quaker? No, 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 no. The Amish are the bonnet and buggy people. We Quakers are very sneaky. We go around looking just like everybody else. <laughs> I suppose what distinguishes Quakers is we believe that there's a, a divinity, a piece of God in all of us. We call it the light within. <laughs> Mrs. Connemara, you believe that there's a light within these mother, these convicts? Yeah, I do. I'll tell you what, I see a lot of burnt out bulbs around here myself. Well, I didn't say it was easy to find the divinity. Sometimes you gotta find their humanity first.
church. Dave. Your house? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I got to stop this shit, Carl. Some way, somehow, I got to. Yeah, me too. Cut that shit. Put it on him now. Yeah, you're right, brother. I charge you. No basket. Hey, you gonna let him get away with that, dog? Fuck y'all looking at? Come on. All right, let's go. Martha, I'm only alive because everybody knows what happens if you fuck with church. Now, what's gonna happen if I try to change the rules? Hmm? I've seen how men respect you here. They fear me. So? You might be the one man who can show them that the rules can change. That there's a better way to live. Maybe it's the light within you. Now you go condescending again. No. I'm telling you the truth. Bullshit, Carl. It's bullshit. I don't care what Martha Kanawanawaka says. A man's nature has a lot more to do with him ending up in here than his environment, nurturing or not. You are what you are, Bubba. And why the hell are you even bothering to study for then, Leopard? You're walking example against your own argument. No, no, no. We are both a walking example for my argument. You and I are here because of our criminal natures. The only difference is I refuse to blame that shit on anything but what I am. <laughs> you are a nigger, man. What? You've been taught that it's your nature to end up in jail, and you've accepted it. That is niggerization. You've been niggerized, my man, Zap. Let was a nigger now. But see, you're trying to nurture yourself. Therefore, you're trying to get de-niggerized, and that's really all the fuck I'm talking about. Well, you know damn well these motherfuckers would have ended up assholes no matter where they grew up. Niggers and whites. Yeah, but I bet you some of these motherfuckers would have been running Fortune 500 companies. Writers, lawyers, doctors. Who knows what they would have been if they wouldn't have been niggerized and just remained assholes. What the hell are you talking about, Carl? In a nurturing environment with a good education, I bet you from the get, half of these motherfuckers wouldn't even be here. White niggers and black niggers. Motherfucker! Quit calling me a nigger. You niggerized, so you're a nigger, man. You and that new teacher friend of yours got your head so far up your fucking asses. Oh, this is a thesis I'm working on. It's fucking stupid. Well, you a dumb nigga and you don't know. Shit. Kill him, church. Shut up, nigga. Get right here. Shut up, nigga. Get right here. Who's talking? Hey, man, y'all clear out with the dog. Come over here. Get a beat before we get busted. Come on, beat it. Beat it. Go back on. Just talking. Let's go. No fight. Dumb niggas. <laughs> Bad enough. And so it is with great pride that I present the Bachelor of Science and Arts graduates for 1981. <laughs> Graduate school? It's 
Quaker College in Indiana, and the dean's a friend of mine. <laughs> Can arrange a scholarship for you? I don't think so. Keep it. Carl, I want you to know how proud I am of you. Fuck up on the outside. You see? It's in my nature to try to call the big skull. Listen, let's not ever meet back here again. Ever. No excuses like it's in my nature either, you punk. You kiss my ass, Lapa. Just try not to come back here before I get it. the phone. What's this from? He's a mean one, really mean. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go. We'll get some coffee. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I want you to know, Carl, that you can stay here as long as you need to. Yeah, we, we could use your helper on the farm. <laughs> we adopted the boys when they were babies. I'm afraid William's had an easier time of it than Demetrius. Are you probably the first adult black man they've been around? Martha, Bob, I'm no role model. You don't have to perform. Just be yourself. Morning, Martha. Is everything all right? Yeah, just passing by. Everybody okay here? Yeah, we're great. Uh, Good. Carl Upchurch, I'd like you to meet Sheriff Stark. Morning, Sheriff. Upchurch, yeah. I heard about you. You related to the boys? Which boys? <laughs> Carl's helping out on the farm. Well, that's nice. How's, how's Mary Beth? 
Oh, she's fine. Fine, thank you. Good. Well, give her my best, will you? Yeah, you bet I will. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, heat this up. Would you like a cup of coffee, Sheriff? No, thank you. Do you make that? Is that what you do here, Carl? You cook? <laughs> Let me pick the cot. Arthur, have you seen his record? I know everything I need to know, Jen. Do you? Do you know how many calls we've gotten since he got here? We have had two calls from his parole officer. We got another call from Philadelphia PD, for God's sakes. Just checking in. This man is beyond rehabilitation. He needs to be watched very, very carefully. You have children here. I know everything I need to know. You have a nice day. So this is where you're always sneaking off to. Don't tell anyone about this place. It's your spot. <laughs> Where's William? He likes to hang out with his buddies. I like to come here and watch the river. It's a nice spot. Did you like robbing banks? I guess I did, in a way. It was the only way I knew how to get money. Now I know better. So you ain't gonna rob and steal no more? Anymore. <laughs> and no, I don't expect to be robbing and stealing. Of course, we won't talk about the robbing and stealing that created some of those banks. That's another conversation when you're older, young brother. Now, I'll put it to you this way. The black folks didn't start here, and the Indians didn't start out on the reservation. Man, let's keep it simple for now. Let's enjoy this fine day we got here. Let's catch us some fish. I'm hungry. This is an answer to the latest economic indicators. While waiting right. for details of the president's plan, the Democrats on Capitol Hill are vowing to fight the tax package, despite the poll's results. And turning to our city, the FBI reports a sharp rise in violent crime, especially among inner city blacks. Black on black crime, much of it in the form of youth gang violence, leads all categories. Reagan administration spokesman blamed lenient courts and called for harsher sentencing guidelines. I'm ready. Has a quiche. Um, the what? The quiche. The quiche. It's cool for quiche. Apart. Apartheid. Is that a disease or something? No, it's a government policy in South Africa. Legal segregation and oppression. Small white minority rules a huge majority black population by force. Uh, yeah, a couple years ago, some kids did a protest thing about that. Some about, I don't know, Earl Ham giving money to some apartheid country. One of those countries in South Africa. South Africa is a country of apartheid. What would you say about the protest again? Uh, I forget. Some business thing. Investments, maybe? I, I wasn't really into it, so. Hey, Carl. I hope you don't mind, but there's this rumor floating around that you spent some time in prison. God, what's it like? Tracy? I gotta go. What? I'm dying to know. One of those countries in South Africa. Chuck. do with this. The Board of Trustees invests Earlham's endowment fund. 
investing in companies that profit in South Africa. You're financing apartheid. Now, that's, that's a little strong, Carl. These corporations are multinational. They profit all over the world, not just South Africa. No one here is condoning apartheid. No, you're just making money off of it. Now, please, Carl, please. The board meets in three months. I'll pass your objections along. Beyond that, there's really nothing I can do. Only been there a few weeks. Martha, I can't stay here. These people are hypocrites. We can hold hands, we can pray, we can discuss, and we can finance oppression. Well, it sounds to me like somebody needs to speak up. Damn it, Martha, what am I supposed to do? You think these people give a damn what I think? You know what they're doing right now? Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. Demetrius wants to say hi. Martha, wait. Uh, you know, he's doing so much better in school. I think you really helped him. I'm gonna let him tell you. Hold on. Martha, wait. Hey! Hey, beat it. Hey, get out of here. Oh, sorry. Hi, Carl. Hey, little brother. My, my mom said you were leaving school. Leaving school? Hey, your mom, she's funny, you know? Oh, man, I'm just here. Learning stuff just like you. But you hate it? No, it's fun. It's cool. But I like it? Actually, <laughs> you'd love it. <laughs> you fit right in. What's so funny? Nothing. Mom says I have to get off the phone. All right. Will you call me on the weekend? All right, I'll give you a call on Saturday. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I got it. My drink. Are you yeah, right. Gamma Kappa Rastafari. How about I help you? Rescue you? How about that? That would be nice. Right. I'm Andrea. Santoni. Follow up, church. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I'm heading this way. What are they feeding these kids? <laughs> Just too many children that grow up in this country homeless in poverty and in pain, and we need to reach them before their spirits are completely broken. I'm sorry, I tend to get a little worked up sometimes. What do you really know about the city? What do you know about apartheid? What are you doing talking to me? You're not the first black man I've ever had a conversation with, okay? And I know about a lot of things. My father wrote a book about Malcolm X. Really? Yeah, really. Huh. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen this? Earl him finances apartheid. Apartheid isn't just some policy practiced by evil men 10,000 miles away. As long as Earlham College money helps fuel corporations that sustain South Africa's economy, the source of apartheid is right here, right now. And you're all responsible. You, 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 and me. Millions, millions of African deaths are on our heads. How can we live with that? Martha suggested I leave. I'm not sure a protest at her Quaker college is what she had in mind. It's not what I had in mind either. Hello. But it sure felt good serving something right. Definitely right. For the first time in my life. So, what are you guys trying to do here? Oh, uh, we've been working really hard. Uh, just trying to right the wrongs in the world, I guess. And how's it going? 
Um, it's been going pretty good. Uh, people, people are reacting. Did you call me here to threaten me? Of course not. That's bullshit. I made my living making threats, remember? But if the college loses profits, scholarships like yours are the first things they cut. That's not a threat. I just don't want to see a bright future like yours sacrificed. Cut the bullshit, Professor Wise. Who's pulling your strings? Did the dean send you down here to talk to me or something? Carl, as your friend, I thought you should know how things worked. A friend? We don't even fucking know each other. And you can't shut me up with a scholarship either. You can take your fucking scholarship Carl. and shove it up your fucking ass. Carl. There are better ways to do this. You gotta decide which world you wanna live in, okay? Because in this world, a tough guy routine of yours isn't gonna get you anywhere. This isn't South Street. Look, you don't know shit about me. I'm just a loud celebrity nigga around here. Carl is our very own black activist, been to jail and everything. Let him yell about the injustice while we feel better about ourselves. So this is about you and how you come off. Andrea, what board of trustees is gonna let a bank robber tell them what to do with their money? So you're gonna quit? I'm the one that's up there looking like a fucking fool. Fuck this shit. Enter and politely convey our concerns. Let's kick some ass. Our trustees are waiting. Congratulations, Mr. Upchurch. Well done. Thank you. Excuse me for a second. Hey. Hey. You got him. You sure did. Did I ever thank you for getting up in my face? Yeah. I guess I was kind of hard on you. You know, um, you're the only one here that I trust. It's all right, it's a champagne. <laughs> <laughs> you try to get another glass? <laughs> Your props are like your reputation, your identity, you know? Where you've been, what you've done, who you've jacked. <laughs> you mean your resume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. So you gotta have props. Mm -hmm. A man with no props is insignificant. He has no voice. But a man with big props, it means he's been challenged, you know? He's taken the risk and he survived, so he's got respect. Well, you got your props today, Mr. Upchurch. Yeah. So what? In the scheme of things. Well, I called Martha today to tell her I was coming home to say goodbye. What? I've been hiding out long enough. A master's degree is not going to help me with what I got to do. What's that? Not sure yet. Boy. 
moving on would be harder than I thought for a whole bunch of reasons. Yeah, man. Before going back to Martha's, I went home to Philly, even though I knew I wasn't supposed to. I had to go back, look around, try to find my mission, only to discover that the world was changing. The revolutionaries were dying off. The gangsters were taking over. Oh, that's a friend of mine. Andrea? It's Andrea. Is that your girlfriend? No. It's his girlfriend! Oh, oh, it's okay, not my you guys. Wait a minute. Wait, hey, give hey. Carl a chance. Hey, fellas, hold on. Boys! Hold up. Hold on, fellas, hold on. Guys. Are you his girlfriend? Yeah, do you guys kiss? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, I'm all right. Say hey, goodbye to Andrea. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Andrea Santoni, Martha Kanamaka. I've heard so much about you. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, too. I'm sorry to just drop in, but I, I woke up this morning. Kind of missed you. So it's a good day for a drive. Mel, make yourself at home, and please stay as long as you like. Thank you. This is it's so beautiful. Sure is. Sure is. She invited you to stay. Yeah, did she mean it? Uh, <laughs> I don't think she meant it in that way. <clears throat> I have to go anyway. I have that final tomorrow. Coming to me. <laughs> yeah, she didn't mean it. Not that way. She's a Quaker. <laughs> She's a Quaker. She didn't spend the night. She had tests. She's Episcopalian. Oh. <laughs> She's very pretty. Yeah. And smart. Think she's too young for me? Do you? A lot of unfinished business. You got out, Carl. I would not blame you. You never went back to Philadelphia. It's a lot of decent folk back home, you know? Just trying to make things better. I just want to help. Just be careful. Saving the world's a tough business. <laughs> Compared to what? It's good. Good as you know.
hasn't done anything. I want an explanation now. They're coming up here to ask Mr. Upchurch some questions about his involvement in a terrorist organization called MOVE. MOVE is a religious organization. Oh, well, I guess that's why the Philadelphia Police Department bombed them, because they're looking for Jesus? Your name was found in a phone book of a woman who died in that bombing. So that makes him guilty of a crime? I'm not saying that, but I'll tell you one thing. He leaves his assigned area without permission from his parole officer. He goes back to prison. You've been to South Philly lately. Right, wait, 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 wait. You are going to put him back in prison based on a technicality? No. No, I will not let you. This will not stand. Mouth open. Tongue out. Side to side. Lift your balls. Side to side. Turn around. Bend over. Spread your cheeks. Doing. That ain't your place. Understaffed, no recreation, no job training, no education. Yeah, I know it's prison. It ain't right to treat men like animals and then punish them when they don't act human. Yeah, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to keep coming here. They got me for another 12 months. Okay, so I'll know right where to find you. Another generation. The sons of my brothers. But they've got one thing going for them. You. Damn it. You better leave before I try to break out of here. The cat is b black and and fat. Yes. Yes, brother, you're reading. It's that simple. Now, see, Jean Valjean's thing is, look, I'm always going to be the punk that did that crime. But I claim responsibility for it. Yeah. Hmm? And I'm also a man. Right. And I claim the right to change my life. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Now I just know you ain't fucking with my boys talking some shit about reading some book that's gonna change their world. You don't want your boys to read? Motherfucker, fairy tell about some better life. I don't do shit but make them soft. Then what? Then they dead. You understand? Niggas cruel is all they got in this world, homeboy. I'm cool about as strong as they need to be. I'm just here to make sure it stay that way. So you do me a favor, just stay the fuck out the way. Nigga. Yeah, I know where you're coming from, brother. You don't know shit, bitch. Yeah, I know South Street, South Philly, Glen Mills, Miley, Terre Haute, Atlanta, Weston, Petersburg, Lewisburg, Memphis. So you've been locked up? If you ain't noticed, ain't no nigga in here free. Look, brother, I understand where you're coming from. I wouldn't fuck with you and your boys. All I'm saying is a little knowledge don't make a man soft. Make a man smart. <laughs> smart, yeah? So what you doing in here, nigga? Guess I'm supposed to be here right now, brother. Mm-hmm. And I'm here for any man from any crew who wants to talk, listen, 
a read. I see now I'm have to fuck you up. No, brother, all you got to do is serve your time. Finally free. No more parole. I could go anywhere. And I did. To places I never dreamed possible. Prison is. Prison, goddammit! I'm up in this motherfucker forever! Ain't no job training gonna help me. I got a brother out there. Banging. Dropping out. Cause he wants to be like me. Like me! Ain't that some fucked up shit? So you tell me, Mr. Smart Nigga. You tell me what the fuck you gonna do about the brothers and the babies out on the streets, huh? to my church to ask for help. I had to get to LA, no matter what. And they raised enough money to send me. I walked the streets of LA for 30 days. Talked to teenage mothers, cops, old folks and gangsters. Everybody was in a daze, including me. I didn't know what I was looking for. There were no ready answers. When more than a thousand people are killed in one place in one year, the UN defines it as a war zone. LA County was a war zone. It don't impress, going up them dubs, don't mean you fresh, you still the same old rapper with the same weak rhymes, sticking your cuts on rotation, circulating the same whack lines. Times have changed, the dope back is doing the same The whack is part of the speech. A gang of suckers in your crews like the sound of blackness. I just can't stand any forms of whackness. Any forms of whackness won't be tolerated when you step to the W. So, 
What you planning, big man? What? I know you. I know when something's up. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Mm hmm It's real crazy. I just need a name. Good morning. This is Carl Upchurch of the Council for Urban Peace and Justice. Yes. I think it's time for action. If we can get them to come together from across the country. Well, the real danger is if we don't try. Stop the killing. Save children's lives. We need money, of course. Do you know someone I could go to? Any help would do. Thank you for your time. What? You will? Hello. Is Carl Upchurch available? Yes, he is. So does he work there? Is this his office? Yes, he does. This is Reverend Mac Charles Jones from St. Stephen's in Kansas City. Okay, can you hold on just one moment? I'll see if he's available. Sure. Yeah, thanks. Hey. It's a Reverend Mac Charles Jones from Kansas City. Oh, okay. Just... no. oh. <sighs> you got Bunny? Bunny? Reverend, are you for real? Oh, yes, I am. Will Kansas City work for you? No, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's right in the middle of the country. Well, we'd love to have you here on that date. Yeah, April 29th. Yeah, that's the... Uh... The anniversary of the verdict. Right. Oh, it's a date, brother. You're a brave man, uh, Carl up Church. Thank you. Thank you so much. The world needs to know about this. Have you hired a publicist? Well, I haven't done that yet, but... Uh... Brother, could you tell me how to set up a press conference? A gang summit? An urban peace and justice summit in Kansas City. Gang leaders from all over America will be invited to participate. These are the people influencing our communities, expressing themselves with the language of the forgotten poor. Violence. We can keep ignoring and jailing them, or we can listen, try to help shape tomorrow's leaders. Aren't you worried what will happen if you bring these people together? Aren't you worried what will happen if we don't? How can you possibly bring rival gangs together peacefully? I'll ask them. You tripping, motherfucker. You crazy, nigga? Meet with them? You out of your fucking mind. Hey, get the fuck out of here. You don't represent no gang. You with the police, right? Were you FBI, CIA? No, brother. And who are you pimping for? Jesse? Farrakhan? CNN. The Council for Urban Peace and Justice. The fuck is that? It's me. <laughs> Nigga, please. Me. Brother, we got an organization that's been around since Martin. With influence and respect. That's why we asked you to stop by. We're a little concerned with your uh, lack of experience. Something like this is bigger than you. We'll do it right. Nightly news, Sunday talk shows. By the time we're through, the whole world will know what we're talking about. But when? Just can't wait. The perfect time, brother. Right before the next election. Go home, Carl. We'll do this thing right. I can't believe it's these old school civil rights sanctified motherfuckers trying to kill this thing. Because they didn't think of it. Because it's not their idea. It's all about ego and spin. I'm starting to think, shit, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Maybe this thing is not gonna fly. What? Nothing. I know you got something to say. Keep going, Carl. All good causes, Carl. I hate it when you do this. No, you don't. Nah, I ain't here to bullshit you, man. Shit, I don't know what you know. Shit, I'm old school. Man, I'm a dinosaur. But I know one thing. This shit must stop. The bullets flying, your baby's dying, your mother's crying. This is your home. 
That's your babies out there on the street. The whole world is watching, all they see is the MTV version of you. Yo, 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 what's up? My nigga, yo, fuck the police. Yo, come here, bitch, be my hoe. Let me tell you something, brother. I look into your eyes, I see much more than that. I see men. I see survivors. You're at war trying to stake a claim, and the casualties around you are getting bigger than the upside. Brothers, all I'm saying is look into the eyes of the man on the other end of your gun. Does he want what you want? Does he look like you? Just stop. For, for one weekend, one weekend, hold a conversation. You show this world who you really are. Straight up. You guarantee our safety? I'll be out in a second. Saw your light. You cool? You been out here all night? Nation says stay with the man. I stay with the man. Let me ask you something. You guard many non-Muslims? I go where the minister sends me. Why does the minister think that I need a bodyguard? Maybe you haven't heard. Folks out here think you're either crazy or dangerous. I've heard. You think I'm crazy? I'm here to protect you, Brother Carl. Not to think. Give me about an hour. I got your back. No. Shit. You need to see this. Kansas City Crips pulled out last night. <sighs> oh, this is great. You tell everyone we're failing, you scare the city half to death while you're at it. <sighs> if we can't even get the local gangs, we're illegitimate. We need them all here. What more can you do? I can get back on that damn phone, that's what I can do. Just go. You know, less brothers show, less likely somebody gets hurt. Wants to make sure you're down with the fact. Yo, nigga, this shit ain't gonna fly. It's cool. What's the problem, young brother? I'll tell you what my fucking problem is, nigga. How the fuck you got me come all this way? You put me in a room with two motherfucking beds, nigga? Who the fuck you think we are? As you can see, we're a little filled up right now, brother. There's a lot of brothers here. Uh, cot is just gonna have to do for Yo, guys. my man, don't be talking about no cot. Yo, you gonna get us another bed right now? We're gone. You know something? You're absolutely right, brother. I've traveled a long way, and uh, you deserve to be well-rested, comfortable. 
We got a lot of hard work to do. I'll tell you what. Take my key. I'll have the front office clean it up at once. Where the hell are you gonna sleep? Ain't about me, brother. Damn. Yo, hold up. I guess Lil T can sleep on a cot. The fuck? Nigga, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> All right? Cool. So the media has been barred from the proceedings inside. The organizers promise a press conference Here after the summer's Here at St. Stephen's Baptist Sunday. Church, where the self-styled urban gangsters have gathered for this, the first national meeting... The media has been barred from the proceedings inside. The organizers promise a press conference after the summit's conclusion on Sunday. Sounds good. I think we can do that. Still early yet. I miss you too, baby. More than you'll ever know. <laughs> yeah, tell my little girl I'll be home soon, okay? Give her a kiss for me. I love you too. What's wrong? Come see for yourself. I have marks me as a blessed man. South Street was once the center of my universe. I could have vanished into the gravitational pull of that black hole, but with hard work and by the grace of God, I broke free. With the help of a few special people, I learned that I may not have been responsible for what I was, but I can be responsible for what I am and what I hope to become. If I could do it, so could countless others. But somebody has to tell them that. Somebody has to lift their eyes to a wider horizon. Somebody has to inspire hope within them. I'm Carl Upchurch. Peace.